Your Excellency Minister Yasmin Fuad, Your Excellency Minister Kai Mikanen, Secretary General Karen Elman, Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, our food systems are harming the health of people and planet. Food systems contribute to over 30% of greenhouse gas emissions and account for almost one-third of the global burden of disease. Transforming food systems is therefore essential by shifting towards healthier, diversified, and more plant-based diets. If food systems delivered healthy diets for all, we could save 8 million lives per year. Nordic countries have been trailblazers for many policy breakthroughs, including for linking climate and nutrition. Thank you for your leadership in this area and for organizing this discussion to share experiences and lessons learned. WHO is committed to supporting countries to develop and implement policies to improve diets and fight climate change. Last year, under the leadership of the Egyptian COP27 presidency, WHO and our partners launched ICANN, the Initiative on Climate Action and Nutrition. The ICANN baseline report currently shows low integration of climate and nutrition in policies, in funding mechanisms, and particularly in the private sector. I'm therefore very pleased that over 130 countries have signed the COP28 UAE Declaration on Climate and Health. Together, we can protect and promote the health of both people and planet. I thank you.